Welcome back to How to App on iOS. My name's Jade, and this is another Daily Digest for Logic Pro. Remember, you can also become a Patreon here on the channel at patreon.com slash jadestar, where for as little as a dollar a month, I'll master your songs live on the Patreon stream each weekend. We're going to jump in and have a look at Logic Pro here. Now, I have a project already half made, but what I've done here is I've got the drums all separated, so kicks, snare, hats, toms, crash, and ride. We've got a couple of guitar channels, a left guitar, a right guitar, a bass. We've got a main lead vocal here and another lead vocal here, and both of these are backup vocals underneath the uh, lead vocals. And we're going to group these things together and show you how to do it. It's a real time saver and you're just going to love it. So we'll bring up our mixer here, make it full screen. Now what you need to do to bring up a group, and you can see I have groups already showing down here, but they're not immediately there. So how to bring up groups? This little icon up here will give you access to what is shown in your mixer. And you can see I've got groups selected here. So if I uncheck that, those groups disappear. There we go, groups are back. Click off, and now we've got groups and we're ready to start grouping these together. Why would you group together tracks? Once you get a mix of your drum kit, your full drum kit, you can group these together so when you make an adjustment, all of the parts of the kit will move down together. Same with your guitars, vocals, backing vocals. So super handy stuff. Now, once you've got all these uh, groups down here, all you gotta do is click and you can create a new group. So in a previously, uh, before doing this show, I've already created some groups. Super easy to do, just create a new group and you'll see it's put number five in there straight away. But I don't wanna do that, I'm gonna choose group one. So you can go in here with each track and choose each track individually. So for our drums, we're all gonna put them on group one like this. So we've got our crash here and lastly our ride. So now all of these are grouped. Alternatively, you can go at the top here and select this uh, like multi-select button and you can select all of your channels and now I can turn all these on or off. So I can remove group assignment and now all those are gone, or I can come in here and select group one, and now they're all selected, unselect this, boom. So let's do the same thing, we'll choose this up here. So all our drums are going to group one now. Let's select, uh, we'll unselect all of these, and then we'll select our two guitar tracks, and let's send these to a group two. Let's take leave our bass by itself. It doesn't need to go anywhere. We'll unselect these now. Select our lead vocals. Now remember, I've got two lead vocals here. So lead M1, lead M2, and we'll make these go to group three, unselect these, and now let's pick all of our backup vocals. Uh, there we go. Whoops, I had the backup selected here as well. Let's remove, <laughs> yeah, let's remove this one. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna select all the backups, backup, 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 and we'll send all these to group four. So you can see across the board, all our backups are going to four, all our lead vocals are going to three, the two guitars are going, the left and right guitars are going to uh, group two, and all those drums are going to group one. So if we play this now, So now very easily, I'll turn this down, I can move just the kick drum and watch all the drums go down relatively at the same time. They all go down, but they all hold that main mix. Let's bring them back up. Same with the guitars. Both of them go down together. And we'll move to the vocals now. Main vocal. You can see the two main vocals going up and now the backings. Really cool stuff. Super easy to set these up. And if you want to turn them all off, it's really easy as well. We can multi-select all of them or let's just do that. We'll get rid of all the buses. Scroll across here because we've got our multi-select. We can then go in, select all these channels, and we should just be able to click on our groups and just remove all group assignments, and now they're all gone, yeah? So now we can unselect 
all of these channels and we're good to go. Super easy stuff. And again, if you want to turn off groups altogether, just get rid of them from here and they're gone. Happy days. That is how you can go ahead and uh, create groups within your tracks. Much easier for mixing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Remember, please hit the subscribe and do the liking and all that stuff here. And I'll be back with another edition of the Daily Digest in a couple of days time. Do what makes you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together.